It's just after midday here at Villa Primary School. On a regular school day, these benches would have been filled with students and joined the lunches prepared by the National School Meets Program. However, classes at educational institutions across the country have been suspended amid coronavirus concerns. But while these benches might be empty, the government has put plans in place to ensure that bellies are not. It all begins here in the kitchen of the National School Meals Program. Hot meals are packed into insulated boxes for children across the country. It's something that happened daily before the coronavirus pandemic, and it's something that continues despite of it. Now that students are learning from home, it's much more targeted with focus on vulnerable students who might otherwise go without lunch. National School Meals Program Director Ezra Knowles reminds workers to ensure the children practice social distancing and are told to wash their hands before eating. She says the program has strategically decided to deliver the meals without forks. If we're telling them to take all the necessary precautions and then we give them the wrapped forks, then they're going to go just, you know, as soon as you give them the food, they probably sit down by the road somewhere and eat it, but then you're encouraging them to go back home where there's a fork at home that is washed. She says the program has been going pretty well thus far. I think last week we covered close to 1,200. We started today with 1,200. When they come back in, um, at the end of the day, we do a calculation of the, if there's any increase. In Buckley's and surrounding areas, the meals are delivered directly to the students' homes. In other places like Green Bay and Villa, the students gather at a central location to collect their lunches. The government has said the school closures will last until March 27 in the first instance, but could be extended if needs be. From Villa Primary School, I am Jamie J. Roche reporting for ABS News.